Good afternoon and welcome to Fort Edward High School. My name is John Galarno and I'm extremely proud to be the principal here and truly honored to have been selected to deliver this introduction. Today will mark the 53rd annual induction ceremony of the National Honor Society here at Fort Edward High School. The ceremony today will look very similar to the past National Honor Society ceremonies with a noticeable absence. The parents, guardians, sisters, brothers, grandparents, family, and friends of these distinguished young people. Although you are physically absent from the ceremony, each member sitting here today knows that you are a significant reason why they are here. Your love, support, guidance, influence, and input have been key components in their success. We are recording this ceremony and will share with our community through a variety of different mediums. We thank you for your support. I would like to thank our National Honor Society advisors, Ryan Herman and Joanna Scotch. I would also like to thank all of our Fort Edward teachers and staff that have played a supportive role in the success of our current members and new inductees. Today, we will be honoring five new members into this prestigious society. As Honor Society members, you are the leaders of your class and represent the very best of our school. The Honor Society is built on four pillars, scholarship, service, leadership, and character. You are already hitting the mark in each of these areas, and it is for this reason that you are sitting here before us today. I believe a special congratulations is in order. Well done. Now I would like to introduce our Master of Ceremonies, President of the National Honor Society, Fort Edward Chapter, Benjamin Colvin. Mr. Galarno, Mr. Herman, Mrs. Scotch, members of the faculty, parents, and students, welcome to the 2020-2021 National Honor Society Induction Ceremony. We are gathered here to formally recognize those students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as new members of our NHS chapter. For our current members and those former members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you too are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Our chapter is proud to have been inducting new members since 1968, and today's ceremony indicates the continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent in our school and our community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility for membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations, and we serve our school and community through many activities. We are proud of this record of accomplishment, and we welcome these new members who bring new energy in support of our continuing work as NHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim to all in attendance that membership in the Fort Edward High School chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. Members of the chapter will now review these qualities for the candidates. We begin with scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. 
we continue to learn even when formal education has ended, or human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. <clears throat> Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have earned and charged to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in the scholarship. In the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, scholarship is to be created not by compulsion, but by awakening a pure interest in knowledge. Anthony Tora will now speak of service. My office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or public recognition is the quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. And once said by Ralph Waldo Emerson, the purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived well. Aaron Forkin will now describe leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interest of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, Thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, a good leader inspires people to have confidence in the leader. A great leader inspires people to have confidence in themselves. Heather Miller will now tell us about character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and once developed grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality of what we wish to appear to others rather than to, be, rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. John Hayes Hammond once said, character is the real foundation of all worthwhile success. At this time, we welcome Mr. Galarno back on stage to introduce this year's inductees. Our first inductee, Kathleen Hunt.
Brandon Hunt. Sophia White. Abigail Newell. and Linnell Colvin. At this time, will all members please rise and repeat the pledge. I pledge to uphold, I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society, the high purposes of the National Honor Society to which I have been selected. To which I, have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will maintain and encourage, and will maintain and encourage the, high standards the high standards of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Thank you all for attending our NHS induction ceremony. Please join me once again in applauding all of our new National Honor Society members. Thank you.